Namaste, love and light. Star seed. I hope all is well with you guys. Um, you guys, I'm feeling a bit fatigued. Have y'all been feeling fatigued? All right, I feel like it's this solar eclipse or this eclipse season, period. And I do feel some solar flares too, y'all. We may be feeling fatigued, all right, a bit. Like, I feel like this weekend, so this full moon may bring in some fatigue. It's funny, the full moon is on a Saturday, okay? So, yeah, that's going to be a powerful day. But it's also going to be a good day. I feel like you guys are going to be healing a lot this upcoming full moon. I see a lot of healing taking place. I see you transmuting a lot of, like, the darkness that y'all was in into, like, light energy, renew energy. A lot of you guys will be speaking up how you feel. Yeah, part of you guys feel like you need to speak how you feel, like, continue to speak how you feel. Always talk about that. I feel like y'all could have been feeling a bit suppressed. Like, you do speak how you feel for the most part, but it could be certain things that you could have been afraid to talk about. All right, but you're being pushed. God, the gods, all right, and the goddesses, spirit is pushing you to do so. It's going, it's like you're safe to like speak your truth soul forgiveness all right someone trying to say you need to forgive your yourself some somebody try to play victim and also victimize you by saying like it's all you and you did things to me and you need to forgive yourself you could have told them they need to forgive themselves and you know whatever and they try to flip that on you but like y'all was dealing with people that was in scarcity. They don't have the same light as you. They don't hold the same light as you. And these people most definitely betrayed you. A lot of them could have been stealing your creativity. That was one way how they betrayed you. Copying what you're doing and claiming like they picked up on it first. Or they came up with it first. Alright, whatever it could be. I feel like these people could even be trying to copy your good energy. Alright. They're trying to pretend like they're going through a radical rebirth too. Alright, like these people could be trying to copy like your spiritual light your spirituality this is like crazy like they see you doing it so now they want to do it too like this is crazy this is like high level copying all right let me make sure this is good okay um, they're trying to like stop your brain from working like that's crazy oh my gosh that don't even make sense but that's what they're trying to do. They don't want you to think or figure anything out, okay? I feel like it's how the way you feel things intuitively is what got these people going crazy in the inside. And it also got them trying to come off like they, you know, feel like how you feel intuitively too. Like they know what they're picking up and feeling coming from you, but it's not true. Like somebody think you're playing a game with them. Like you're lying. You're not telling the truth just to like, you know, put on that you're not doing these things. But you're really telling the truth. Like you don't have time for this. But they think that you do. I feel like this person keeps trying to figure you out and they're not getting anywhere. They need to forgive themselves. For being in this jealousy, scarcity mindset because of your light. The fact that you're shining. And a lot of you guys are like, you're honestly, you're like, you're moving ahead. These people feel like your light is pushing them away. It's because your light is so bright. I feel like you are the true goal. I feel like your light is outcasting their light because their light is false. If they're trying to put on like their light is so big and grand like yours, then y'all will be able to integrate together. But it seems like your light is outcasting them because they are fraud and you're the truth. I feel like you are in this position right now because you are the truth. All right. Because you're not a fraud. You're, you're truly light or enlightened. Yeah. I feel like you guys are truly liberated and free from the part of you. Like, yeah, your ego that's keeping you like, yeah, it's like, you know, we love our ego, but we got to keep it balanced and, and heal it. And I feel like you guys are no longer bound to that part of you, which was your ego. You could have an ego death that kept you bound in, in um, and attached to the 3D mentally, even in, in your spirit. It's like you had that liberation. You guys shed it. And you guys are now embodying your higher self. You're one with your light and dark. 
These are people that still need to surrender to their ego. That side of them that always want to be right. All right, I feel like some of y'all could have been experiencing nausea too. That's another ascension symptom. I'm seeing the sun. It's the solar flares. Like we are going through like high level, you know, shifts right now. And also like transformations, high level transformations. And it's like these transformations are advanced and they're happening very, very, very quickly. So fast. It's like we're literally changing from the inside out. Like even our bodies are changing. Like we're going to start becoming who we truly are. So please remain grounded. Y'all may even feel anxiety, okay? Y'all may just, you may feel anxiety because you're picking up on a lot of energy. You're feeling a lot, including those solar flares may amplify it. So just the best remedy is to stay grounded, okay? That is the best thing. Now, if you guys suffering from more than anxiety or nausea, then you may need to go seek medical help. But for the ones that just feel in this energy just flowing, it usually just passes. It doesn't last. Yeah. Overall, your intuition is what got them going crazy, like I said. It's like all these people are focused on you, targeting you, pinpointing you because of your intuition. You know things. And a lot of them is trying to, like, you know, fight against your intuition. I'm telling you, they'll send you spiritual attacks, storms to your intuition because they don't want you to be in alignment with, with what's true. They want your reality to be discombobulated like theirs, filled with lies and illusion. You know, illusions that that's keeping them delusional. <laughs> It's not like reality. You know, of course, life is a, like we live in an illusion, right? But, you know, or a dream. But at least we are like buckled in and in tune and aware of what's going on in this dream. These people aren't like in a corner somewhere thinking. And in, in, in their mind, they're thinking they're fulfilling a whole nother life. But in reality, they're just somewhere in the corner. You know, programming gone, gone bad. All right? I feel like you guys are manifesting miracles. And I feel like. You guys are not, you know, I, I'm seeing you guys receiving and giving miracles. That's what I'm getting. Like, you guys are giving miracles and you guys are receiving miracles. And I feel like somebody is sad over that. Like, how can you give and receive miracles? I want to be in that power too. Like, this person needs to be patient and wait for them to properly go through their activation. And I feel like they need to stop trying to feed off of your creativity. This is like a creativity muncher. It's like they're always watching you to feed off of what you're saying. Okay. And, and they also want to, you know, know what you're doing as well. Feed off of what you do so they can do it too. I feel like these karmas creativity is blocked. They have like a, they're going through a creative block right now. And I feel like it's their spell work. They need to go through the, sh yeah, they're being haunted by the spirits. All right, their own ancestors is haunting their asses. And it's like they can't see them. Their third eye could definitely be blocked. That could be a reason why their creativity is blocked. All right, listen. The spiritual world is mad at them. That's why it listen until they they listen they in the hangman energy they in that position of the hangman until they shift into a higher perspective they're gonna stay on that damn tree hanging they're gonna stay rooted and it may take some time for 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 them to shift into that new perspective the hangman is for you to sit still you're not just oh I'm hang oh I'm enlightened no you are gaining enlightenment in that hangman the purpose of the hangman is for enlightenment but in that moment in that present moment you are hanging to that tree. Gaining enlightenment. And until you gain that full enlightenment, that is, you know, until you gain that, yeah, you're going to be stuck to that tree. Only time you're, you know, you'll be untied is when you gain that enlightenment, okay? So you cannot avoid, uh, avoid the process of the hangman. They are in the hangman right now, and that's why they are going through a creative block, and their third eye may feel a bit stagnant or pulled on. All right, they're, they are stagnant. They're Listen, I feel like they are rooted to their own spells. That was meant to slow you down. Look, y'all be getting into the drama. All right, I want to make this long. Listen, you guys are crowned. You guys come from a divine lineage, a holy royal divine lineage. All right, this is, I feel like they had a hard time believing this. They felt like you just created this in your mind. But, so that means they just created what they believe about themselves in their mind too. But when you say that, they want to say, no, no, I truly, like, this is someone that wanted to argue with you about who you are. You would have been actually been taking, you would have been going, like, ten steps back arguing with this person. Even though whatever they do and make them feel like they ahead of the game. But honestly, they're going backwards. You're you're moving forward. Don't allow them to intimidate you. Not everything is what it seems, Starseeds. Not everything is what is what it seems. And this is what a lot of people in this world is going to be realizing, including you guys, that this person is just putting on. All this extra stuff you picking up on is what they want you to feel because they feel defeated. It's not that serious, but this person is caught up in all this dark energy that they that 
they put out there for you, but it's on them. It's like they're caught up in their own web. Somebody could be bound to like some type of succubus incubus. This could be a succubus incubus. This could be sex magic involved, and they all like got all these ties, these sexual ties. This person was lying when they were saying they were doing good juju for you or on you. They was lying, all right? Listen, they wanted you to go through a rebirth of, like, endings, okay? That was their rebirth for you. They was lying and saying they was trying to help you with your radical rebirth. You woke up and found out that that was not true. And they also wanted to block you from seeing, like, block that inner vision, your third eye, from seeing the divine lineage that's within you. That divine blood that flows. They were trying to stop it. This person, I feel like they're crazy for thinking that they can do this. And they're crazy for thinking that the spirits will allow them to do this. It was your intuition that picked up on these things. And that's what really made these karmics mad. They felt like almost offended. Like, how dare you use your intuition on me? But they don't want to accept accountability, you know, of the fact that they tapped into your energy. They threw a spell at you. They was gossiping. They did all this stuff that was... Un it's like it's not like they're just gossiping. They're conspiring. They're plotting with this gossip. It's one thing if you just gossiping. It is what it is. But they're conspiring with their gossip. Gossip is wrong because you're creating negative energy and you're projecting. Especially when you're plotting with this gossip. You get what I'm saying? And people just need to accept it. But gossip is black magic. It is. All right? It's, it's not a high level form of it. But it is. You're still manifesting. You're still putting a dark cloud over somebody's spirit. Over their head. So you just got to be careful. Somebody did try to manifest against you. All right? They didn't realize that you come from a divine lineage. You are divine creation. They, they just now realizing that you are of divine creation. That's their fault. Okay? Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. And listen, they could even been saying, like, okay, yeah, you come from the divine, but you ain't using your energy right. Like, they had every single excuse. I Listen, honestly, I, I don't know, man. This person is going down. <laughs> Some of y'all may study numerology. All right, we have 12 and then 6. 12 take away 6 is 6. And then we have 9 here, 6 and 9. All right, so that's a mirror number. This person could be going literally 6 steps backwards. You can be going 18 steps forward plus 9. I feel like you're about to take a huge quantum leap. Out of this energy, away from this energy, y'all or y'all getting prepared for it. All right, and I feel like this quantum leap is going to help. Um, is also going to quantum leap you to like your future self. All right, that higher self of you that's waiting for you at that crossroads. All right, that's still divine, that's still regal and royal. All right, these people did try to use their ancestors to attack you. These could be African ancestors. I'm getting Haitian. All right, as well. I'm not calling out no Haitians. All right, I'm. This is what I'm generally getting. It, it, you even have people that's not Haitian. That will work with Haitian spirits because they have it in their bloodline, right? But they're not using them right, all right? This could also, I, I'm I'm mainly getting that, those two right there. Voodoo spirits and, and African spirits. And I feel like, you know, for some of you guys, it's also like their actual bloodline. Like they was actually calling on their ancestors to send you attacks, okay? And I ain't coming for no African either, okay? I mean, no one should feel that way. They're using this, this high-level science for, for evil, Okay, they could be using Oya. They could be trying to call them Marie Lavu. Who knows? But I feel like, you know, like I've been telling you guys, you're good with the spirit. So they need to leave you alone. Some of y'all, I'm, I'm getting, I'm seeing a water park commercial. So I don't know if y'all been to a water park recently this past summer. Okay, or you could be planning your next vacation. Some of y'all may, I'm see, it's actually a cruise, so some of y'all may go on a cruise. What is it? Royal Caribbean. Look, we're talking about you guys are royal. All right, yeah, there was royal bloodlines throughout the Caribbean, for sure. Okay, your royal bloodline may be linked to the Caribbean. Caribbean. All right, I feel like, again, these karmics, they just need to surrender to your power, who you are. Because that's not changing. I feel like it does make them feel bad. It does make them feel some type of way. All right. 
And with this resistance, I feel like they wanted to hold back from you because your power was so damn strong. Let me see the phone. Let me see. Let me see. Because the food. Y'all, it's my birthday today. It's your birthday today? Hold on, because he probably, like, outside. Oh, no, he up. He, stay in here. Stay here. He up the street. Stay here. Yeah, I felt like they was also trying to say, like, oh, I found out the truth about you, that, you know, you was, even though they still unsure about this, but this is what they were saying, you know, that you was, you know, putting out negative energy towards them, and they felt it, and, you know, it's almost like this person felt good receiving this lie or download, like, from spirit. Like, this is something that they wanted to hear. They ain't want to hear that you're not doing nothing because it will make them feel stupid for doing spell work on you. They really, y'all, oh my God, this is sad, you guys, y'all. This is sad. They really thought that y'all was doing something to them. They really thought the secrets was revealed about you. They really thought they unlocked the codes. They un unlocked the vault of secrets. They really, this is sad. This is why they may, may feel stupid and sad in their heart. Like, this is their soul. Like, they genuinely feel stupid and sad. Because they really thought your secrets was revealed. And they, they, like, they trying to say you was always holding back. Why you need a lot of these? Who are these people for you to lie to them? I feel like these people are delusional. They are living in some type of delusion. And it may take for you to, like, it may be up to you to, to snap them out of it and show them, like, who are you for me to lie to? You know what I'm saying? Like, who are, like, why would I need to, like... And, and confront them and expose to them, you are obsessed over the fact that I'm doing something to you because you trying to run from whatever you did or whatever you're doing. And I'm not about to play that little boy, little girl game. You got to let them know. And if they want to fight you because of that, they want to unalive you because you showing them who they are, that just shows the type of person that they are and that they love to live in this delusion. Y'all can't be around people that's not emotionally mature. Because when you tell them something about themselves, they ready to kill everybody. Look, I told you, look, they get enraged. They get in that... They want to claim Medusa energy. Well, you ain't channeling it well. I feel like you guys, I feel like y'all are definitely fearless. Y'all are not afraid to say how you feel, but I feel like there is something. Yeah, like you, I'm seeing y'all coughing. Like, y'all may need to get something off your chest. Like, you feel these people in your damn energy. And if they, listen, if they try to tell you that they feel you in it, listen, they ain't going to never come in because they, they know, even though they thinking it, they know this shit is bizarre. It's untrue. But if they ever come at you, or say anything, you you have a right to tell them. Like, I feel you in my energy. Don't be afraid to tell them. Because they just want to... All they're going to do is try to mirror and reflect to you that you're in their energy. Basically, mirror and reflect to you, you know, how they feeling. Okay? And they could be trying to do still do mirror magic and shit, do back to sentence with mirror magic. They get a kick out of this. and And it's like... I don't know if this person feel like it's worth it. They do. This is what, at the time, they did anyways. This is why they feel shame now. That is just definitely not worth it, okay? Talking about some, they feeling safe doing spell work. Doing these type of dark spells, you would never feel safe doing that. And they, they need to stop running from that awakening of not doing spell work. These people know you're not afraid to say how you feel. They know what you're going to say. That, you know, they're in your energy. Because they, cause they know that they're in your energy. All right, and you're going to cut them off because you want to figure out the truth. A lot of people ain't saying shit to you, or at least they didn't, all right, because they know you're going to pick up on the truth. You're going to find out the truth anyway of what they did behind their delusion. A lot of these people was wrong from the start, and they, they all got a kick, a pleasure. It was their pleasure to do these things to you, all right? And they thought the spirit said, it's my pleasure to work for you and unalive another person you know, a mom, like, that's stupid. Like, these are people who you walked away from. Their plan is falling apart. I feel like someone is having a falling out. Or the group is having a falling out. The group is falling apart. What? While this situation falling apart, these group of people falling apart, these people, these people walking, working in cahoots, you are receiving a whole new opportunity. These people lost. They done missed out. Hold on, y'all. My food is here. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Y'all, I'm so happy to hear that their group is falling apart. They missed, they messed up, and they and they missed out an opportunity 
messing around with you. Okay, yeah, you moving on. I feel like these people wanted your like. I feel like some of these people still could be trying to receive your Ace of Pentacles, but it's not going to work or trying to get some type of opportunity. But you guys, you you moved on. They see you moving on toward this brand new opportunity here. I'm seeing this Wheel of Fortune as a coin. All right, y'all heading towards a lot of golden fortune. This this golden fortune is your spiritual inheritance. They were trying to hold that back from you. Are they sick, crazy, or 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 crazy for doing this? Trying to do this, like I feel like God rejected them with this four of cups. Whatever they were trying to plan with God or the gods and goddesses, it was all rejected. And I feel like it was like it was brought to your attention. I'm seeing a um a bell, an alarm. That bell's giving me like an alarm. Like spirit alerted you what these people were trying to do. These people are crazy. They're stupid. They're God told you. You have the gift to communicate with God and other gods and goddesses and the heavens, angels. They all warned you like to get away from these people, push these people out of your energy, send it back because of X, Y, and Z. Y'all know what X, Y, and Z is. They all trying to deny. I'm not trying to take your gifts. I'm not trying to take your destiny. But they, it's like this is someone that don't want their destiny deep down inside. They want yours. And for other you guys, it's like this is someone that don't want the negativity that's in their life. They want the goodness that's coming into your life. They feel like they can fill in that 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 negativity with your good energy that's why they was harvesting off of you and they thought they can get away with it a lot of these people thought they was going to complete this 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 cycle or this life cycle with your energy but they're realizing that they they're completing this life cycle out of your energy moved moved on perish out of your energy you guys i feel like i keep getting like they don't want you to succeed they don't want you to complete the cycle but you already did that's what i'm getting your timeline jumping to the future a lot of you guys are supposed to bend be at this particular timeline but these karmas kept holding you back they kept trying to keep you held back in the physical, okay? It's like this timeline jumping is, is definitely on a conscious level, which is going to shift your reality, all right? Because your thoughts, your mind definitely alters your reality. Even your third eye projects that too, all right? So how the way you see things from a spiritual perspective will alter your reality. It's not that you see everything spiritual, but you just see the bigger picture, all right, and that's a blessing, all right, because some people just surface level. But they didn't want to see you complete this new cycle. They wanted to see you rejected by God. They wanted you to be rejected by them. These people really try to attach themselves to you so they can receive your good energy. And they was trying to use Elegua to do it. I just have to be real. They was using Elegua to do it, and I feel like they got ran over. All right, they're confused. They was even using Elegua to confuse you. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? If they have the gift and the power so much, so bad, why they got to do all this extra stuff? Like trying to unalive you and thinking that this is an epiphany this is divine judgment this is awakening like it's oh this is truth i competition creating more chaos on this planet creating more war you don't think that's what you're doing because you in your mind think i'm just targeting you i ain't targeting nobody else no what you do how you affect me affects my family and everybody else that's connected with me Mom. it's not all about you karmic it's not all about you and how you feel about divine feminine and masculine no. It was, it was never about you and how you felt. And how you felt was unaliving divine feminine and masculine for their starlight. The light that's within them, that shines. Their destiny. And you was even willing to lock up divine feminine and masculine. Spiritually or even in physical because you couldn't get what you want. But when you realized you couldn't do that, you went back to trying to steal divine feminine and masculine light again. They, I'm telling you, they tried to unalive you. The hangman, they unhinged. They was unhinged at the time. Them, and they didn't want to sit in this hangman energy. They wanted to see things backwards. It's so weird. You see, this is like the right way. See how the room is set up, the bed and all that? This is in reverse. This person wanted to live in the upside down world. They wanted to have their head in the ceiling. <laughs> okay? They wanted to be up there, lifted up in the stars in the 5D. And all they got was delusion. Okay? They are definitely unhinged. And I feel like it's, it's they're seeing reality wrong. They're definitely in an alternate reality. A, it's not a real reality, you guys. It's definitely something, you know, that I said before. It's connected with the universe, yes, or the universe energies was used, okay, to and because we know we all got we all connected with the universe within us. But it's a reality that's like in their subconscious, like in their mind. Like it's not a real reality. And I feel like once they pass away. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just speaking, just to give you an example. Once they pass away, I feel like this reality will be gone. It's like, it's only something that's close to them. It's like a fantasy. You know, they're, they're, I'm telling y'all, they're unhinged over you. This could be a false lover, a false twin that had an awakening that y'all twins after y'all moved on from each other. And they the ones that created all this hoopla, all this nonsense. Y'all moved on from this person. Y'all started planning new, new, a new life. 
a new future, a new relationship. They saying you plotting and plot, plotting and planning on them. No, they trying to say you're trying to plot like they're ending. That's what they told people. That's not true. They're not even worth it. But other people believe them. People really did truly believe that, you know, you was in some dark energy as attacking them. They did. And I feel like you guys, I feel like, honestly, you guys, I really do feel a transformation is happening for you. Like, you're definitely heading towards the future. A beautiful transformation is happening for you guys. I see it. It's so beautiful. It's it's like, it's maybe unknown to a lot of you guys, too. But you have to trust. This is like a test of faith. A test of trust of your higher self and the most high. I feel like for the most part, y'all know y'all got to separate from these people. And you separating from them is a part of this new beginning so clearly it's some type of new path for you right it got to be something good because it don't consist of this karmic heartbreak no more separations no more two-faced gossip like y'all like you know you got to walk this is also karmic energy with three of swords y'all know yeah the path this unknown path consists of you walking away from people that's no good for you so you know this new path got to be filled with something that's honorable for you you guys i feel like y'all finally going to receive the energy that you deserve Praise, like you're actually going to receive the love that you deserve, the honor that you de deserve, the t attention that you deserve here, okay? not It's not that y'all want attention, but the type of attention that you was getting, it was probably unwanted attention, or it was just like you in a bad light, but that's switching up. Some of y'all may even go viral, like I said, but a lot of wishes and, and dreams is coming true for you in this new cycle. You have to believe in yourself, and I feel like a lot of y'all do, but if you're here and you don't believe in yourself, that means you haven't found your goal, your purpose yet, yeah, you need to do some more inner work, detach from certain people that could be blocking you. You see that 6, 9 is here again? And remember, I told the mirror numbers, so I feel like you guys could be mirroring a lot of the karmic's energy, all right? But I feel like mirroring in the sense of you could be, like, feeling their energy as your own because you guys are empath. I feel like you're feeling their energy a lot. It's a mirroring going on. And I feel like, I feel like this is the, you know, this is for you to bring to your awareness. This is for your awareness so you can know, like, what you're feeling is not your energy. This is not you. This is almost like confirmation that this is not you and that they're still doing what they're doing, even though they're lying and saying that they're not or they're not doing this or doing that, but they are doing X, Y, and Z. Like, they may be saying, I'm not doing any more in the live spells, but I am still doing love spells. Same thing. You're still feeling the energy and you're still feeling like them trying to attach themselves to you. All right? And it's like y'all may not be mirroring their energy as in experiencing the same experiences as them but you're like you're feeling their emotions that's exactly what I'm because it's like something may be mirrored or reflected to you and you'll have an epiphany like that is what the karmic is going through all right but that's also one that you need to clear your energy because they're trying to like still project your energy because of whatever they're going through all right yeah i feel like they're facing a lot of karma and you guys are it's like you guys are not it's, it's like y'all seeing that but, like, you, it's, like, certain things that's happening to you that's not in bad, like, not, like, you know, car wrecks or anything. But let's just say, damn, I, I don't know. I want to give an example, but I don't want it to sound too far-fetched. It's almost like you can feel or see the type of karma that they're experiencing just by the, like, the energy that's in the air on your environment some of these people could be in the same environment as you but you can just feel it you can just tell you get what i'm saying like hold on just try to pick it up i feel like it's instant karma i feel like certain things may happen to you very quickly that will show you like oh they're facing karma you get what i'm saying like even if like y'all were like i ain't gonna lie to you guys this is just how crazy it got and like if you guys was to bump your toe Spirit would, like, show you, like, a mirror effect, like, they bumped their toe. And they actually bumped their toe first, and that's a whole sign, like, you know, shit is catching up to them. And also another subliminal that, you know, they're about to stumble, they're about to fall. It's like, it's the same thing. All right, that's the, that's the type of mirror that I'm going, um, that I'm getting. All right, they could be trying to say, yeah, I mirror the same intuitively. But um, y'all could also be picking up how they're not picking up things intuitively, but they think that they are. Y'all picking up on a lot what's going on in their reality, because I do feel like they could be also trying to, like, swap realities. So, again, keep cutting those cords and clear that energy, but I feel like these are also signs and warnings for you guys as well. They sabotage themselves trying to come for you. All right, I feel like your bloodline is about to change things very quickly. Like, I feel like some of these karmics will be put to rest. I feel like some of them are juggling, like, life, their health, and wellness right now. All right, y'all, yeah, I'm about to eat. All right, yeah, wow, right when I said that, the tower. They're going through some unexpected things. I feel like some health issues. That five of pentacles will be health issues, poverty, illness. 
All right, yeah, I feel like some of them are going through a health ending. Like, that. yeah, and it's it's what they manifest. It's something, with, listen, this is what they try to manifest on you, some type of health issue. And it worked on them. I don't know what the health issue is. I'm hearing, you know, um, C19. All right, but that is still going around. All right, that's crazy, right? But, um, yeah, I feel like it's something that they manifested. They try to manifest on you, and it backfired on them. Yeah, and you guys know intuitively what they try to do. What they try to do is backfire on them. And you guys can, like like I said, you can almost see. You can see it. You can feel it in the air. Yeah, I can just tell. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is what, like, what you're feeling is what they're going through. Like, this is what they're feeling. You know, even if you bumped yourself, you know, you know, like, damn, like, even though I, I like, this is, this is what the karma is going through. Like, they're not paying attention. They done bumped themselves. All right, it's like that type of vibe, you guys, all right? That is crazy. Yeah, I told you, you're intuitive. You're, you're picking up on their energy and it's happening in weird weird ways. Because I even feel like they try to find different loopholes for you to, like, experience what they are experiencing. But it's not happening that way that they could have manifested. It's just to show you that they're going through this. This is their karma, like, and they try to put you through it. You are intuitively intelligent enough to know, like, this is what they try to put you through. People who's going through this that's not, like, you know, fully awakened like you, they will feel something odd happening, but they really wouldn't know what's going on. So they'll probably go ahead and seek spiritual help. But you guys, you're you're blessed enough to already be spiritually advanced and awakened. And y'all already know what, what time it is. It's this person playing with your reality. And this happening in their reality. And it's like you're, it's being mirrored to you. To show you. They're facing karma though. Yeah. They're facing karma. Alright. Yeah. I feel like there's someone who you could be sharing your intuitive insights with. Your downloads. Be careful. They don't believe you. This could even be like a this ex masculine. It's someone who you're communicating your intuitive hints, downloads, insights, what your spirit guides are telling you. You gotta be you can't tell them nothing. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. Even though they say that they do, they don't believe you. Yeah, I told you. They don't believe you. They turn a the blind eye. You could be a card reader. They don't believe what you pick up. They believe what somebody else say, but they don't trust you. They don't trust you. Yeah, it's like if they be like, Oh, I feel like heavy energy when when you say those things. I just don't it just don't feel right to me. But when somebody else say it, May say the different words, but same thing. They be like, yeah, I'm all for it. But this night of wands, I'm just getting them all like, seeing them all excited and passionate. Like, yeah, I'm all for it. Yeah. It's like, this is someone that's like, they got, they in and out with their, with their own damn feelings. Like, uh-uh. And I feel like they even flighty with spirituality. One minute they, they trust that other person. The next minute they don't. Y'all all crazy. You get what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they just, they're, they they cause chaos. I feel like a lot of people need to let go of this person and move on from them. Just like how they projected that people need to move on from you and let you go. Likewise. All right? Because they come with a lot of chaos. They the ones who try to rain on your fucking parade. All right? And then got the nerve to try to apologize. I'm so sorry. Hey, how you doing? Like, no. Some of them even try to come with that, hey, how you doing? And even apologize. You know, they're going to, you know, take it to their grave. You know, charge it to the game. Ain't shit to charge to the game, man. Some of them is going to be trying to come back and reconnect. This could be an old friend. Listen, I'm telling you, your ex-lover, I'm seeing the KKK. Like, they was a... I, 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 listen, they may be denying this, but I'm seeing the KKK in their blood. All right, it's being brought to your attention that your karmics, and it could be your karmic ex, they bloodline linked to KKK. Man, listen. I saw that. I saw it. I saw the fucking hat. Y'all remember on the Tyra show, that girl went on the Tyra show talking about some, oh, she, she KKK, she love KKK. Like, y'all, listen, I would not be surprised. Listen, I ain't going there. I'm not going there. A lot of people are still asleep and they're not ready to hear the true facts about our history, even with, like, black coons and Uncle Toms, okay? But, y'all, listen, even those cowboys, some of them cowboys, they was killing natives, too. I talked about that, all right? And these karmics, they don't want to admit that they bloodline are linked to criminals. They are. They're criminals. Shit. They may want to say, I'm not KK because I'm black. Oh, please. Listen, you'll be surprised. Sometimes, I wouldn't be surprised if I was white in the past life. 
All right, I would not be surprised if I'm a whole nother racial nationality and a whole nother reality. I mean, my bloodline is connected with that. All right, and you know, we kind of stop looking at white people as just reptilians and draconians because that's just a mask that they put on to fool people and to bring racism on this planet. All right, truth be, like, we don't know how deep and ancient, you know, I ain't about to go there. A lot of people will be like, oh, you know, I, I get that, but, you know, it's like, regardless of how their race was created, not all people that are white have that Caucasian Neanderthal soul. You get what I'm saying? Their soul don't match that bodysuit. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and, and just because a person's white don't mean they can't channel, they're not chosen or anything like that. All right, of course, being black is, is awesome and beautiful, and we have that melanin and stuff like that, but they got melanin in them too. It's just not that much. It's, it's not that much, but they got it. All right, so that's why they're able to still tap in and be chosen because, you you know, it is what it is. You know, the melanin, the black is the truth. Not saying the white isn't because, like I just said, there's melanin in, in them too. All right, but you got to look at the soul, and that's what I'm getting. This person's soul could be of KKK, okay? Like, they love to just, you know, harm souls that are divine. All right, an assassin. A neg those those KKK, they was assassins. They were just wild with it. All right, and this could, listen, I, I do feel like your, um, your ex could have been your false twin for sure, and they're still trying to fight against you, y'all. But I'm going to eat because I got to get my daughter soon. But it's my birthday, y'all. Happy birthday to me. Yay, 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 yay. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Okay, but I know I be having y'all mind blown sometimes. Don't be scared. Thinking, oh, is my ex KKK? Don't be, don't be, listen, you gotta tap in. Like, honestly, you gotta first be, you know, accept the fact that a person that is of our color could possibly had a past life or lifetime as white. You have to first accept that. All right, and then you also have to accept that not everyone who we think is for us is for us. Some people would just want to use us, you know? They don't want to accept the good. They want to just, you know, use us for whatever their benefit is, all right? You know, they accept us. Well, they accept our good as far as, like, what been the good that benefits them, all right? But they ain't really accepting our true self, our true goodness, all right? That's just a codependent us, all right? But, um, yeah. I'm going to go now. Love y'all. Bye.